Yeah, guys. So uh, welcome back. Uh, this is another edition of the revision program. In fact, it will be the last session. And uh, in the last lecture, we were in the middle of a question. So today we will complete that, and we will, you know, move on to the remaining areas of uh, what we have to complete. So let's move into, uh, you know, where we stopped. So actually, we were talking about the Porter's five forces. Yes, we were talking about the Porter's five forces, and I was able to explain you the threads of new entrance, and then uh, the threat of substitutes and bargaining power of customers, and you know, competition, uh, the rivalry. So today we will move into the last one, which is. Uh, the bargaining power of suppliers. Are there substitutes for your suppliers' products? If there are substitutes, then you can always select among suppliers. No? You can switch to another supplier. Even when a supplier can attend the bull runner, supplier bargaining power can do Do your suppliers serve multiple industries? Does the total industry revenue accounting for only a small portion of the supplier's total revenue? Then it is a different story. Here you are always looking at how reliable your suppliers are as well as how you could switch among suppliers. Do you have high switching costs? Again, a supplier again again, switching cost take away. We will have to stick to him. If not, nothing to worry. Do suppliers have the capacity to enter your business? Can the supplier take confidential information and he can he start a business? Does your company capable to enter the supplier's business? Can you become a supplier so that you have the back end and the front end everything covered? So these are the areas that we have to talk about. Uh, so in the question it says identify two models. This was that futurist company. I hope you can remember. So this was that uh, this was about that futurist uh, company that was into uh, you know into wedding packages. This was the question. You can pause this and you can read this. And uh, the first part says, identify two models that the team could use to analyze the external environment. Briefly explain the models. Okay. Let's move into the answer. There are two main models used to analyze the external environment. First one, Porter's five forces. I explain this, and then we have the Pester model. So that is the answer for that. And they had asked to briefly explain. We discussed about it. No need to go through it again. Explain how these models could use. Sorry, how these models could assist the team in formulating a wedding package. For the futurist hotel, okay. Application of the five forces. The five forces model can be used by the team to assess how fierce the competition is likely to be if the futurist decides to act as a wedding venue. On the right. Abhi to balagana pulong. How fierce? How? How strong the competition is? Because competition is strong, you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see competition you can see that you can see wedding package can see that you We don't know what is offered by the other people, how fierce they are. And we unknowingly, again, without any issue, I mean, I would say, uh, uh, I would say, in a very adverse way, all the customers will, you know, you know, will go to the the Royal Albert. I think there was a company called Royal Albert, and then there was another company called uh, Deluxe. Then uh, we are futurists, and then they said that there are many other products also. So if by chance if we don't know how fierce the competition is, we might just offer a product for the sake of offering a product and it might backfire. And uh, I would say, 
uh, in an inevitable manner, customers will be just, you know, moving towards the current competitors like Deluxe and Royal Albert. So, which is a bit of an issue. When you know the competition, when you know the degree of competition, you know, when you know the background setting, when you know how fierce they are, then you are prepared for it. You know how to up your game. This will then enable the team to appreciate how profitable this new strategy is likely to be and enable it to decide whether or not it should enter this market. Application of uh, five forces, if the futurist decides to enter the wedding business, it will be competing against seven other hotels, yes, Deluxe, Royal Albert or Park Theater, which are offering a range of different prices and different market segments. Therefore, an analysis of the industry where the five forces model could avoid the future is making a mistake with regard to its competitive position and enabled to exploit which of the five forces appears to be favorable. Now guys, when you do the analysis about the five forces, you will know the customer bargaining power. You will know the threat of new entrants. You will know the intensity of the rivalry. You will know, you know, all the elements of the five forces. And as I said, you will be well prepared for it. Ekai metana hani. The metana ahani nehe threat of bargaining power gain mod. Threat of new interest can mod the gain again me ahani metana. Me ahani me models the copy to use karan pulu on the competition again and again. Now let's look at question number three. Explain how these models could assist the team in formulating a way again. Wedding package jacob form karnagota. May wedding package jacob be draft karnagota. मैं वेडिंग पैकेज जगह अभी लिए ना अभी ड्राफ्ट करना गोटा मैं मॉडल्स देखा इवाहल वन ने कैसे द हाउ विल हाउ विल इट असिस्ट इतना गोटा मितना आन ने पॉलिटिकल लेके मैं पीए के पॉलिटिकल लेके एक्सप्लेन कराना नहीं मैं मितना आन मितना रहता है तो ऑफ न्यू एंट्रेंस से के एक्सप्लेन कराना नहीं � so, I hope it is very clear. Application of PEST, the APICO, the PEST model like use karan. The PEST model could, should assist the team in arriving at an informed understanding of the external environment, which should enable the team to devise a strategy that better fits the needs of the market. You will know the political part. You will know what to do, what not to do, economical part of it. But economic uh, analysis will tell you what price you set. Uh, Socio cultural will tell you, you know, what is the expected thing. Then, if you have a wedding package, you know, if you take in a western country, they have ball rope. Sri Lanka, we have baila dancing. Uh, you know, it is a cultural thing. No? Technological will know. No certain uh, in certain uh, weddings, you show this pre-shoot. There is a screen, and, and you know there is a project, and you know people do crazy stuff. It will also assist the team to understand how the various factors within the model are changing, and also direction of the future trends. For example, the, the understanding of the likely future popularity of marriage, that is a demography, socio-cultural, social factor, will be future popularity of marriage, social factor will be important for the team's wedding wedding strategy. Future popularity of marriages is no maybe some people like to take marriages where a certain cultures they discourage having lavish lavish weddings. Now if you take a country like Sri Lanka, we encourage weddings. Lavish weddings, crazy. Some weddings are like five, ten days. I don't know. Application of best. The team may also find some of the factors are interlinked. For example, you can have a pistol model like a use current video. You can have a pistol model like a political maker, economical maker. See, this is the most important part of understanding what to write. You need to know 
what to write. When I say what to write, you have to write an answer for what the examiner is asking. You cannot write an answer that you have pre-prepared. I hope it is very clear, right? The team could refine its best analysis to identify key drivers for change. These are the factors which are likely to have a direct important bearing on whether the strategy will prove successful. As an example, there would be trend of disposable income of people age 20 and 30. If incomes are rising, customers may be willing to spend more on their wedding, which will influence the price the team will set for the wedding. Yes. Now, that is a best analysis. This is a best model analysis because api baluot te him 20 to 30 age if if we understand that there are more people uh, if there are majority who earns a lot of money who has a high disposable income uh, disposable income is vehicle hai ki yaad hai ma. if it's between 20 to 30 uh, and then maybe they want to spend more for their wedding conclusion both the models could be used by the team in the initial stages of formulating the strategy when it would form part of the rational approach to strategy. The models can also be used as part of a continuous process of environmental scanning. This would enable the team to be aware of opportunities and threats as they arise rather than having to, wish to wait for formal strategic review as under the rational process. So, guys, what I have to explain you here is that in this particular model, it is very clear and evident that the, the question, the requirement of this question is very clear on what they expect from the candidate and the candidate has to be very careful in writing an answer that best fits the expectations of the examiner. Right. Let us move into the next part. So, B1 talks about explain how an understanding of the Porter's three uh, generic competitive strategies could help the team design a successful wedding package for the future is hotel. Advise the team how information system strategies could support the three generic strategies. Okay. Anyway, moving forward. We know what the Porter's generic strategies are because I explained it in one of the lectures. Um, Coke is a cost leader product. If you take this is Mont Blanc high gunders, Louis Vuitton shoe, Rolex watch. Those are differentiating products. Then we have a focus, which is a niche market, a small market for cost leader, a small market for uh, differentiation. It can be cost leader or differentiator. Yeah. Uh, before I go to this, I would like to talk about uh, a small part which I did uh, called past paper analysis. Okay. This I have explained, uh, you know. Uh, I have explained uh, the, I have structured the exam requirements from June 2018 uh, to I think December 2015 or June 2015. I have reminded this before, all these documents are available in the chartered accounts LMS. So, please make it a point that you download it. Uh, it has the requirements. So, guys, when you are covering the syllabus, you can always give priority for this. Ne? When you are covering the syllabus, it is the main topic still like a priority. With it. After that, you can go ahead with the list. And the other thing is, guys, how frequently have you read the examiner's answers? So, I hope internet is working. Chartered accounts, past papers, 
past paper answers. Your yeah, internet is working. So chartered accounts, past paper answers. You know, some students were asking about this also, but I thought I will just show you chartered accounts, past paper answers. Mm. So I guess these are some uh, suggested solutions of, uh, I just want to show you a few. I think there is a small problem in the internet now, this one coming, yes. So, I would always encourage all the students to, you know, read the suggested solutions. You will get a lot and you will understand the structure of it. The very moment you start reading the suggested solutions, you will, uh, you know, get the hang of it. Um, I think it is taking some time. Anyway, you can go through my document also. This is what I have prepared for you. And uh, until, as I said, KB5 2000, until June 2015, I have, you know, listed down every requirement in the, uh, you know, in the in the past papers. So, that is a very important thing to note. Now, uh, I would just show you before I, because you know, Porter's generic strategy was something that I have already discussed. I thought I will take up this question because uh, I could not discuss, uh, you know, Porter's, uh, Porter's uh, five forces. So, I thought with this question, we were able to finish Porter's five question. So, we will leave this question for the time being and if you look at uh, the past paper analysis, you will see that there are many topics that are tested. So, you need to always give priority for these topics and uh, you know go through the rest in a, you know, weighted average method. So, always try to finish these parts first. Uh, yeah, I think we got, we, this is available. So, you are at the business level and as you can see, business level suggested solutions are available for KB5. This is uh, the December 2018, right? This is for the December 2018 paper. Even I was also checking this uh, in the web. Yeah, so it is getting loaded. If we can get the paper also, I think it will be a fruitful discussion. Let us try to get the recent paper because the recent paper is the December 2018 paper. suggested solutions. Right. Now, suggested solutions are Samahara Peter in the main area stick. These are examiner's answers. See, a candidate can further mention that in a given scenario, blue chip is the market leader and its products are far more superior to those due to its management and methods. Therefore, the management and the employees of the company could enable the firm to recognize strategic opportunities and threats present in the market. Uh, the candidates can further mention. See, these are some important things for you to note when you are reading the examiner's answer. At the end of the day, why are we exam make a pass or the failure or the kind of decide when why are examining a requirement to get a answer to you know the right. It would be examining the requirements for the Lienavad and the Kini Iganagan to go in there by reading the examiner's answers. Then, Balan Namia may answers. Now, we will go through these guys. Just check how 
the examiner is you know structure in the answer see with an all the dynamic capabilities and redundant capabilities it got to look at how he is segregating the answer are you writing the answer like this or are you just writing paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs if not this is i open so year 2000 18 there is something wrong with the internet i guess internet connection let's use the hotspot and try to follow sort this on just to get this trevin iphone there you go that's me password yes there is one yeah so there you go finally we were able to get the 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 paper sorry for the delay because there was some internet issue guys let's look at the recent pass me antime daavu paper ek 2018 december paper ek then 2018 december paper ek i think mitana 2000 mage analysis ek 2018 june wenak anthi eno i have i'm yet to complete but Let's let's go through it. Yeah, as we saw in the answer, there is a question regarding dynamic and redundant capabilities. How dynamic capabilities contribute towards blue chip value creation, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, then comes uh, sub. There is a question on supply chain. Several sessions they had asked about supply chain. I can show it to you. Supply chain, supply chain, supply chain. There were several supply chain. Meaning supply chain ekam. So guys, if the student followed this particular sequence, definitely you would have been very successful. So I think supply chain was tested in several areas. Supply chain, meaning supply chain for information systems. Supply chain again. So I think you could do a small bar chart. Make up it a bar chart. Take a kadan na pula highly tested areas gel, commonly tested areas world. We can do a bar chart and see supply chain management again. So you know the list goes on like that. Then uh, in the recent paper, question number three, they had asked about uh, quality. Joseph Juran's defining quality and Kaizen. I think Kaizen was also tested before. Kaizen can continuous improvement. Make a Japanese principle like a. I think I don't know whether I explain this. Abi TQM karam hai thani. TQM and Kaizen goes more or less in the same, uh, you know, in the same line. Then comes uh, uh, as a hierarchical organization. Outline to key reasons of difficulty implementing major change. Change management. चेंज मैनेजमेंट के अनिवार्य फॉलोअप बने थ्री स्टेज मॉडल लेगा अनफ्रीज चेंज रीफ्रीज अनफ्रीज चेंज रीफ्रीज द थ्री स्टेप मॉडल 
change if change management was tested lewin's three step model is a very uh, is a very prominent area i think uh, another area that was tested it got api i can remember doing the you know revision program for the june uh, sorry the revision program for the december students api ga kare mai danne september hari october month age and through the webinar you can watch those i would have given this exam requirement chart table and i asked the students to go through it and you know the ones who went through it and studied accordingly they would have reaped the benefits uh question number 5 is on what committed to it is a hr model eh? explain two conditions that be in place uh, place for the party be participation to make employees feel more committed to work deciding pay for an individual how what are the methods of deciding pay for an individual job that take teach testing and technical you know knowledge on these areas ne okay then hmm, comes this part the me wa 10 mark questions the the me 10 mark questions ek wage macro view ekak mokadda meke what is the macro understanding of looking at this 10 mark me 10 mark questions wala whether you like it or not me glum godak test karanne more than the analytical and application skill they test your technical skill me question laku palani lakunu panahin e kenna wa redundant capabilities danna wa dynamic capabilities danna de ekane lakunu dekak denne me uh so therefore when it comes to questions of this nature it has to be very clear that the first 50 marks that is given in the kb5 paper test your technical skill so guys technical skill like ahanna puluwang from many areas e can examine मेन मे पार्ट कदे मे स्ट्राटजी केपबिटी मे का मम स्ट्राटजी केपबिटी एंड कंपेटेट अडवांटेज स्टडी टेक्स रेफर पेज तेन पेज ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन रेलवेंट लर्निंग अवटकम के सो द एग्जाम इन हियर ऐक्चुअली स्पीकिंग यो टेक्निकल स्किल एट द एक्सामेशन इट इज वेरी क्लियर राइट अभी मैं सेक्शन सेक्शन वन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फाइव ही इज टेस्टिंग योर नॉलेज ऑन दैट एरिया ओके अभी बालू क्वेश्चन सेक्शन टू है के ट्वेंटी फाइव मार्क क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली द रीजन वाई ही इज गिविंग यू अ बिग सीनार यू लाइक दिस इज बिकॉज ही वॉन्ट्स टू सी योर एप्लीकेशन स्किल मुकदमे पर रहा रिकग्नाइज द टाइप ऑफ कंज्यूमर गुड्स क्रिस्पी क्रैकर्स फॉल्स इनटू टाइप ऑफ कंज्यूमर विद इन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कंज्यूमर गुड्स सो इट्स अबाउट कंज्यूमर गुड्स प्रमोशनल टूल मिक्स फोर प्रमोशनल टूल मिक्सेस मेक मार्केट मिक्स के प्रमोशन प्रोडक्ट प्राइस प्लेस प्रमोशन इन द मार्केट एक ए फोर पॉसिबल टूल्स आर क्वेश्चन एनालाइज हाउ यूनिको कैन push or pull promotion policies to sell crispy crackers and then analyze the issues the company could consider with the marketing mix strategy based on the crispy crackers and current uh, crispy crackers is currently in its product life cycle yeah issues ne the analyze the issues, so product life cycle and in pertain into product product price place promotion in the relevant stage of the product life cycle adu 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 neve i mean in the last lecture we talked about product life cycle so guys it's very clear on which area they are testing the you know the main requirements i said there are some popular areas question number 7 swot analysis mckinsey 7s model and then comes the porters value chain so uh, the porter's value chain talks about two areas that is the 
primary sorry the the primary activities as well as the secondary activities so how information technology can change api meke questions keep ya karla balu based on how much time we have uh, we'll do a section 1 question as well as a section 2 question abhi sections dekem ek ek karam so that it will benefit you it will be good for you uh, question number 4 we'll go to question number 4 so you can download this as well because it's a past paper you saw how i got it uh, anyway you can pause and if you want you can read it from here also it says santex manufacturing private limited so in the future we will be calling this smp is a fully family owned company operating in the apparel manufacturing the fully family owned kelly you should have an idea guys lanka is one of the family owned company if you take vogue jewelers it is owned by the hemachandra family if you take uh, um Uh, I don't know whether Dilma is family. It is definitely Mr. Meril Fernando and Dilma. Dilma comes from Dilhan and Malik. I think it is family owned. Initially, M S was family owned. The Amali and brothers, Mahesh Amali, Najee Amali, and Sherad Amali. That is how M S was formed. Anyway, you should have a rough idea about family owned companies also. In the apparel industry, very clear. Guys, I'm just telling you, Samara. Now I know what apparel industry is, but if there is a student who is not aware of what apparel industry is, I mean, no problem. If you don't know, maybe you are coming to business level after doing, uh, you know, the executive level in, uh, you know, in Singhala. If you have no idea, you know, best thing is for you to, you know. type it on google so when you type it on google it says apparel is clothing and if you want to get a better idea best thing is go to google image and when you when you go to google image it will give you this it would make a there no no apparel kiyanne clothing ki the me company ka me wage dewal bigunana company ka like me my there might be certain students who knows what i'm talking about it's not relevant for them but guys whether you like it or not majority of the students who are failing this paper are failing because their lack of english knowledge and secondly the lack of uh, uh, understanding what is written and what is given about so first of all you need to understand the setting of the scenario it's about apparel na apparel kiyan mokad gine ga identify kar gede thiyenno one you should have a rough idea about the apparel industry kaata de vikuranni mona wage katha tika de thiyenne business processes mona ada කොච්චරක් ෆර්ම්ස් ඉන්නවද ඉන්ඩස්ට්‍රි කියන්නේ අම්බු කිසි knowledge එකක් තිබිය යුතුය. එහෙම නැත්තම් ඔයාලට ආන්සර් එකක් ඩ්‍රාෆ්ට් කරන්න දෙයක් අමාරු වෙයි. So if you are a student who is coming from you know after this after doing the previous level in singhala and if you if you are not understanding certain things then guys the best thing is for you to you know initially make a google karama or whatever you get even how to pronounce it. You know you get how to pronounce it and also it tells you what it is clothing himat nattang image ekak wala image ekak walu gawan therna wedi mokadda kiya okay it was established in 1985 as a small scale business by two brothers with with 25 employees podi eda patang aragena thiyenne kiya doken kiyanne podi eda patang gatta business ay today it runs with more than 500 now it has grown to a big company 500 employees kiyanne podi ganak neve in different capacities smp has its own clothing brands which are marketed locally through its own outlets own outlets eglonge ma outlets thiyena they have their own outlets it has also created a few international brands which are distributed through selected departmental stores in foreign countries meglo international brands oge gut thiyena ekena meglo hadana apparel products again their clothing products are sold in their own outlets 
without a important point that is distribution and also certain brands are sold internationally through selected places the rapid growth of SMB with local and global business functions occurring during the last two decades two decades led the management of the company to make decisions to convert the business into a public company when you want to expand more capital if you want to get more capital you can make it a public company by issuing shares to the general public the company is to be restructured into a functional department with teams specializing on the company's brands and new management positions that would be fi filled from outside yes the company is to be restructured. They are trying to make this a big company. Uh, certain departments, functional departments with teams specializing on the company's brands. Foreign brands will be a department. Local brands will be a department. Some departments will be categorized based on the products. So it can be a different organizational structure. It can be divisional. It can be you know, functional. I don't know. By under the new management positions that would be filled from outside. So they are trying to get some outsiders as well. As a hierarchical organization, from that means from top to bottom, decision making hierarchy, outline two key reasons for the difficulties in implementing major changes in SMB. Hierarchical organization changes current very high. Why? Outline two reasons to the for the difficulties in implementing major if it's a hierarchical organization, top to bottom, hierarchical organization, why is it difficult to implement changes? Okay. So, this is question number four. Let's read the answer and see, and let's see, let's do a discussion. Major changes are often better. I mean, that is better. It says, yeah, major changes are often difficult to implement in large hierarchical organizations like SMP. There are several reasons. Can the make it make long look who venus come current, you know, make a podi company a cat it because of the global business and you know things that are happening around uh, they are trying to change this so there can be difference dif different departments created new people coming in people have to work with new people if it's a global business maybe you have to recruit foreign people then there will be uh, you know cross functional issues all these things are there in hierarchical organizations there are many employees but it is only a few people at the top of the management hierarchy who are in the position to initiate change in hierarchical can top to bottom top management are the guys who will initiate the change ideas for change from employees in the middle ranks of the organization will often be ignored hurry hurry make a hurry decision top management it would middle and lower cut or even not heard According to the given scenario, SMP is a family owned business and perhaps the family members are at the top management. They are the ones who will take the decisions. Therefore, it is likely that they do not like to listen to other employees who work at the middle and lower levels of the company. Family business is make a make a gun examiner from the scenario that is the most you know important part. Right? It is taken from the uh, scenario. Make a family business again. The make long cabinet or they will learn. Even when the organization leaders see the need for change, they have to pursue it several tiers of managers beneath them to agree on the need for this change. This can take a long time. The may make a tier change management when we teach we say when people are comfortable with the existing system a simple example 
there is an accounting department who is very comfortable with QuickBooks and the company wants to install a, you know, a big ERP which is far more greater than you know, QuickBooks and now they want to synchronize everything according to the new ERP. So, what is the QuickBooks system? DNA is not available. So, what is the QuickBooks system? But if you want to convince them and if you want to change, then you have to take some daunting measures. Large bureaucratic organization, bureaucratic is to the rule book. Large bureaucratic can have to come on time, do on time, take the approval on time, report, uh, report everything on time, filing. Uh, decisions has to be taken with prior approval. It has to rule book. What is it? Large bureaucratic organizations have a tendency to be conservative and resistant. Hurry, hurry. Bureaucratic is not accurate. It is not accurate. It is not accurate. It is not accurate. In a school, if you want to teach with modern technology, the teachers who have been there for the last 20, 30 years, they will not like it. Why? They like to come in the morning. Then, uh, in a school, I know this because my team members, we did several projects with certain schools. Certain schools, certain schools, they dislike having a fingerprint. Why? Fingerprint is not the The principals as well as the management likes, you know, signing. Sign in the book. You have to come and you have to sign. So, you know, fingerprint is something that will make them uncomfortable. They have to, you have to come and Samara Kati, you have to train with the fingerprint. And you have to know what you have to so, just imagine changing the operations in school, let's say you want to teach with digital whiteboards. Record, you know, there are whiteboards where, you know, it's digital, where you can write and, you know, you can save certain things that you have written and, you know, life is easy. So, you know, moving forward, the 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 employees who are who have worked in a bureaucratic organization difficult to change that culture the culture of these organizations is generally hostile to change hostile to change rimamari it is also difficult to impose change from the top when subordinates are hostile when they are very are they are in their own opinion so then it's very difficult. So guys, me mukkum answers are practical answers. Me putting unknown answers would never. Or hurried he thought you would have written down a very practical answer. Let's say a student, the megalo me study text reference ka deno ame thena. You know they give the learning out time and study text reference. But you would have written an answer. You know in a very practical way. Okay. What's the next one? Explain the possibility of using Kurt Lewin's three-stage model for change in the prevailing culture. Hari. Unfreeze, change, and then you get the refreeze. Movement kela kela. Unfreeze, change, and refreeze. Right. Let's look at this. Unfreeze. This is the process of finding a way to get the people to end their resistance to change. For the con conversion of the company into a public quoted company and new restructuring and new management positions being filled by the external sources. The method of Mugad the Prashni resistance to change in the decisions. We want to change our company into a public company. We are going to restructure departments. We are going to restructure restructuring. We will be filling certain management positions. We will be filling certain management positions. We will be filling certain management positions. 
this could be achieved by finding ways to strengthen the driving forces for change or by weakening the restraining forces that resist change or a combination of the two factors and make it clear no this is the examiner's comments huh? very important minna mehema thewal tibbut aniwaryen meka kiyawanna candidates can attempt to identify driving forces new capital and expansion of opportunities income management know how benefits career and restraining forces like fear of unknown expense complexity hiring or the fear of change so unfree skill ke liye kya hai what we do is we look at what is the problem unfree se ke api balanne mokadda metana issue eka and we look at what are the options available for us to you know go about it options dekhai thiyenne ekak thamai strengthen the driving forces other one is restraining the forces that resist strengthen the driving forces kele kiyanne the me change ekak awashya ai you take it forward then ai apita meka public quoted company ekak karanna because we want more capital why do you want to restructure flexibility we want flexibility we want things to happen you know in a in a we want flexi we want flexibility we want things to happen in a more in a more efficient way effective way it will facilitate efficacy and then why do we want new management positions from external because maybe the guys who are taken from outside they have the experience that make a global business ekak kiyala giyena one එතකොට ග්ලෝබල් බිස්නස් එකකට කේට කරන්න you need to have guys with certain skills මේගොල්ලන්ට තේරුමක් තියෙන ඕනේ මේ බ්‍රෑන්ඩ් එකක් කොහොමද ග්ලෝබල් ඇරීනා එකට අරන් යන්නේ how can we promote the product how can we take it to the next level all these things you need to know then comes the you know restraining forces අනිත් එක තමයි to unfreeze එක අපි බලනවා මේ වැඩේ කොහොමද ඉස්සරහට අරන් යන්නේ තියෙන බාධා ටික නැති කරන්නකෝ රිස්ට්‍රේනින් ෆෝසස් ෂුඩ් බී රිමූව්ඩ් රිස්ට්‍රේනින් ෆෝසස් දැට් රිසි වීකන් එතකොට රිස්ට්‍රේනින් ෆෝසස් අඩු කරන්නේ ෆියර් ඔෆ් අන්නෝ මොකක් වෙයිද කියලා දන්නේ බයි විල් පීපල් රෙසිස්ට් ඇයි කැමති නැතින් ෆියර් ඔෆ් අන්නෝ මොකක් වෙයිද කියලා දන්නේ රයිට් කොම්ප්ලෙක්සිටි ඔෆ් හයරිං ෆ්‍රොම් අවුට්සයිඩ් ඒකෙන් එලියෙන් එන කට්ටියත් එක්ක අපිට වැඩ කරන්න පුළුවන්. ඔය වගේම තියෙනවා. ඉතින් ඒවට දෝස හද ටුති අන්ෆ්‍රීස් කරන එක අපි බලන්න ඕනේ ඇයි මේකට රෙසිස් කරන්නේ? how can we go about it? then comes the movement. now how do we convert this? this again how do we convert it? or how do we uh, you know handle the change management very smoothly? that is movement this stage involves making the change this is where we make the change ar unfreeze ekapi balanne ai metana issue ekak enne movement ekak we have to make the change how do we smoothly do that this stage involves making the change it includes not just making the change to operations and activities but making changes to the thoughts feelings behavior of the people eto ora mekai the fear of unknown thiyena kattiyata enne kiyala egulonta apita workshop ekak karanna we can inform them we can tell them mega api me karanne me public quoted company ekata api yanna heduwat thiyena apita capital loan eda public quoted company ekata capital nathu api yanna ba isarat api me business ekata thawa develop karanna wenne ne ekinda thamai api me public quoted company ekak hetita yanne there may be a period of confusion during the move eda kota when you are working if you have new system meglum kiyana restructuring karana on kiyala if you are restructuring and if you are uh, if they have to work with new people then there can be some confusion ne eka meglum kiyana there may be a period of confusion you don't know who to report where to go what to do from the old ways of doing things to the new the task of change manager is to try and limit this confusion and promote the change then krama goda thiyena eka you can have very proper demarcation lines you can have very proper guidelines you can have very clear uh, you know ways of doing things 
so if you can list them down and if you can you know go about it that would be the best way yeah rephrase after change has occurred there may be a tendency for people to revert to the old ways after a while and for the changes to become lost and forgotten again i mat ara fear of unknown theory etoda api refreeze kala kiyala kiyanne unfreeze ekak api dana ganna mokadda problem ekak kiyala ඊට පස්සේ අපි චේන්ජ් කරනවා මූමන්ට් එකේ රීෆ්‍රීස් කියලා කියන්නේ මූමන්ට් එකට පස්සේ আফ터 ද චේන්ජ් නෝ වී හැව් ක්ලියර්ඩ් ඕල් ද ඉෂුස් නේ ඒගොල්ලෝගේ ඔක්කොම තිබ්බ ඉෂුස් ටිකයි අර තිබ්බ මත බේදයි ඔපිනියන්ස් වී කන්ෆියුෂන් ඔක්කොම ඉවර කරාට පස්සේ අපි ඒගොල්ලෝ වෙනම ලෙවල් එකට අරගෙන ඒ ලෙවල් එකේ අපි රීෆ්‍රීස් කරන්න ඕනේ රීෆ්‍රීස් කරලා ද අපි ෆ්‍රීස් කරපු දෙයක් you we should not let it melt again and come back to the previous level ara ara udda level ekema eglu mo digadama tiyala they have to move forward they have to go forward after change has occurred there may be a tendency for people to revert to the old ways after a while and for the changes to become lost and forgotten rephrasing involves establishing the change as the new mindset ඒ කියන්නේ ඒගොල්ලෝ ත තේරුම් ගන්න ඕනේ අපි දැන් වැඩ කරන්නේ පබ්ලික් කෝටඩ් කම්පැනි එක. ඒක තිබ්බට කමක් නැහැ. අපි රිපෝට් කරන්නේ ෆොරිනර්ස් ලට. ඒක ඉෂුව එකක් නැහැ. මම ඉස්සර හිටපු ඩිපාර්ට්මන්ට් එකෙන් නෙවෙයි මං ඉන්නේ. නමුත් ඉට්ස් ගුඩ් ෆෝ මී. ඇම් යු නෝ ලර්නින් නිව් තින්ග්ස් අන් ඒ වගේ. සෝ දැට් ඉට් නව් බිකම්ස් ද ඇක්සෙප්ටඩ් දැන් ද නෝමල් වේ ඔෆ් ප්‍රොසීඩියර්. විතවුට් රීෆ්‍රීසින් එම්ප්ලොයිස් විල් ගෝ බැක් ටු ද ඕල් වේස් ඔෆ් ඩුයින් තින්ග්ස්. and the old ways of thinking so guys i think it is very very clear ne? this is the kurt lewin's three stage model okay so guys uh, with that uh, we have discussed uh, you know one section uh, if uh, let's go through another section also we'll go through another section also which is uh, we'll go through question number 6 question number 6 okay let's go through the exam uh, the 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 requirements it says recognize the type of consumer goods and consumer goods crispy crackers falls into within the classification of consumer goods explain four possible promotional tools picks which can be used to introduce crispy crackers to the sri lankan market hari अभी मैं सिनारियों को बोलता हूँ, always read the scenario, always read the scenario, and then you know come to the question. Unico PLC is a Sri Lankan corporate established in 1965. It is built on a strong foundation of values and ethics, guided by trusted leadership for a sustainable development for the food industry in Sri Lanka. Can you? They have ethics, they have values, they have norms. You can. good corporate citizen you know unico has a range of products and whole company in 1965 unico has a range of products on its business portfolio including biscuits confectioneries cereals chocolates soya based products coconut oil organic fruit products most of its products are sold across the country and it holds a substantial market share for some of its products hari the good products you know again the biscuits you know confectioneries you know cereals at a recent management meeting the following facts were highlighted the sri lankan market for biscuits looks lucrative lucrative can be beneficial given the average consumption of 4 kg per capita per year which is much higher than india which is 1.1 kg indonesia 1.6 kg mm. consumption per capita is 4 kg sahana biscuit karo pe katti there are only two main players in the market and unico has acquired the third position for the most of the biscuit in lanka when the manchi and melbourne unico is the third health concerns over ingredients and nutrition of beverages and food products have remained a continuous trend among customers for the past few years 
health concerns are there. Ekene goda katte kamy dinay sugar thiye neva kan. Samara katti lunu agi deval kan na vediye kamy dinay. Samara katti aar ekhi bal no fat take protein. Eva well health concerns are there. Biscuits made out of rice are very few in the market, and the ingredient sourcing can bring a low cost of production to the company. Then wheat based biscuits. तो उनमें इतना ऑप्शन नहीं का तीनों भी में राइस वाली एक बिस्कस आता है। Considering the health consciousness of the consumers and other cost-related benefits, the management of Unico has decided to introduce a range of rice-based crackers। माँगे का देख का तेक क्रैकर्स तो वन देख के ना वन यंग देख का राइस वाली एक आधुनिक एक आपने कहा नहीं राइस वाली एक आधुनिक एक आपने कहा माँगे तो शुगर फ्री एक आप सॉर under the brand name Crispy, the company is going to strongly hold its policy on keeping the best quality in their products. Quality testing and experiments and experiments are currently being carried out to ensure the same in crispy crackers. Unico expects to have rice crackers targeting uh, different segments, including kids, teenagers, young, mature and elderly. You know, mass product customers based on different flavors and added. Uh -uh. Crispy crackers for kids, crispy crackers for teenagers, you are appointed as a member of the team that is building a strategic marketing plan to successfully launch the product in the Sri Lanka market. Hurry. Now you get the idea of the Unico company, the industry insights, the industry again. The information is a deal with the industry. The Matami information deal now as a person who teaches case studies. I can give you guys, I can tell you why they have given information about the company. Ma make a macro video take a put methane about the company. It would hammer or case study anywhering about the company. Then they pay. Let them walk on the idea again. This is about the company. Eat up a say they are giving this is about the industry. Methane industry again, I walk in a put the cathy put that. But this is made in about Unico. But this is again the two main places can industry, again industry, health concerns, industry. Again, uh, you know, make a may competitive this is a competitor screening. Rice selling other viscous are doing a glow. And what the way the main alut opin alut suggestion at board dig alut suggestion nega. May alut suggestion nega again at my question nega the may honey. A recognize the type of consumer goods. Crispy crackers was into within the classification of consumer goods. Is it crispy crackers in what other? Right. Yes. So if I just go through the answer. Consumer goods are goods that can be used by consumers with the need for any further commercial with, uh, without the need of any commercial processing. Again, a final Consumption well, the consumer goods may be further classified according to the method by which they are purchased. Convenience, shopping, specialty goods. Crispy crackers falls into the category of convenience. These are the goods that consumers buy from the convenient location, such as a local store or supermarket. These are goods that are often purchased regularly and low price. They often have close substitutes and which are sold under different brand names. Yes. So guys, this is a very basic classification, the classification according to purchases. And guys, this is definitely testing your application skill. Okay. Oops. Explain four possible promotional tools which can be used to introduce risk breakers. Four promotional tools. They make a monkey one a kali mandan no methi ne eka tool lega, methi ne tava tool lega, methi ne tava tool lega, methi ne tava tool lega. I mean, goda tools deal thi na budhu. Hatara yahan ne vay, actually yahan noon ne, but meka deal thi inna ra students lada for learning purposes. We call this pedagogic reasons. Promotional mix is the combination of activities used by marketing managers to promote the product. Unico should combine promotional tools to form a promotional mix. And the promotion itself needs to be combined with the other piece in the marketing mix to create the overall marketing mix for crispy crackers. Out of promotions, the best one is advertising. So you can go for, you know, 
uh, media, television, cinema, radio, newspaper, magazines, billboard, websites. Chris McGregor should be used advertising heavily in his products targeted to all. And one of the best tools to use, introduce. Uh, and it can be one of the best tools to be used to introduce Chris McGregor. Uh, actually, I think it's digital advertising. Websites, you know, website advertising, you know, and so on. But then people, guys, go for, you know, digital advertising. It's not a direct marketing deal. It's not advertising only on the Facebook and, you know, Instagram. People now, then Colombo crowd, they get television, but then now people watch Facebook. No? I think after you, you know, watching this, you will be looking at your Facebook profile. Maybe you can see the video, you can see the TV, you can see the TV. इस तरह मिस बनाने यार टीवी के मनाती पत्रे मनाती दांग बनाने फेसबुक के के मनाती यूट्यूब भी के मगन तो दिन ये तो कोटा ये वाके एनवायरनमेंट एक एडवरटाइजिंग डेफिनेटली डिजिटल शुड कम फॉर सम रीजन दे हैव नॉट बट इट्स ओके पॉइंट ऑफ सेल्स डिस्प्ले आर डिस्प्लेस ऑफ फर्म्स प्रोडक्ट्स एट द uh, you know, crispy record scale, up it are a pretty silver a day get up, you board a garden a bull and crispy record scale. Point of sale displays can never look at bull boots. Designs of packaging that is also crispy records Ghana video, kids let it on a video, matures let it on a video. How you pack it, packaging, go on the down or a pretty teen neck up the net and box a cock the that is also marketing. Direct marketing was sending sales promotion materials such as brooches directly to potential customers. Karena pulau angkela itu nak katil, tapi directly ekseng kerana, so mostly this would be B to B, but anyway, sponsorships you can you know sponsor a TV program, a sports event, and tapi dia nak pulau angkela dia nak katil, dia nak crispy crackers tapi dia nak angkela TV program, angkela tapi dia nak pulau angkela guest letter you know is sponsored by, you know it's a, it's a the gift is sponsored by crispy crackers. PR in was trying to get favorable news reports about a firm in the media. Crispy crackers can use event sponsorships to build PR. Yes, you can sponsor it. So you could say uh, Crispy crackers presents cricket sixes or Crispy crackers presents uh, the under 19 cricket tournament. That is PR. Consumer based sales promotions. Uh, many sales promotion techniques from time to time to increase the awareness of products. This can include a range of techniques such as cash discount, yes, cash discount, samples, then ever, coupons. And the list goes on like that, guys. Huh? So I think this is very clear. Analyze how Unico can push or pull promotion policies to sell crispy records. So this is an important push and pull. So, traditional push marketing policy is concerned with transferring goods out to wholesalers and retailers who then have to task of selling them to the ultimate final consumer. That is push. Pull policy by comparison is one of the influential final consumer's attitude so that consumer demand is created. But pull ke baland api wholesaler or retailer dene. Pull leke we try to influence the final consumer. So guys, that is a very easy part. I don't think I need to explain that. Uh, push and pull are very easy areas. I think in one of my discussions, I would have discussed about it also. Analyze the issues company could consider with the marketing mix strategy based on the stage crispy crackers is currently in its product life. Product life cycle, like it will be at the development or introduction. Yeah. Introduction stage, definitely. बालने तो एको इंट्रोडक्शन स्टेज की, डेफिनेटली ये तो एक इंट्रोडक्शन स्टेज जगह दिए ना प्रोडक्ट टेक करके टापी मगोदे कराने, प्राइस से करने मगोदे कराने, राइट? वी शुड गो फॉर गो फॉर अ पेनेट्रेशन प्राइसिंग, प्रोडक्ट वी नो टू होम इट विल बी अपीलिंग, सो वी नीड टू डेवलप द प्रोडक्ट इन सच we could use our, uh, no, it was different. We could use our distri current distribution channels for this to sell the product, supermarkets, whatever. Promotions, we just talked about it. 
So guys, there you go. That is uh, question number six. So we discussed the question section one and uh, we discussed the section uh, B question. So I think with that, we could wind up the session. Uh, thank you very much for joining and I hope this was a fruitful discussion. Uh, and I wish you all the best for your exam and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers.